And if you're looking for a procedural sign creator, then you might want to consider checking out the procedural sign from the Fuse Studio. The folks at the Fuse Studio are the very same creator of the procedural crowds and procedural alley. Currently, the procedural sign, which is a very cool tool that they've just announced, is doing a 20% launch offer, and this simply allows you to create signs however you want. With some procedural parameters to help you tweak this to your heart content, this is definitely one of those tools that gives you that endless customization and possibilities for creating procedural sign gauges across your scene from neon to billboard light signs big screen channel signs all the way to led signs and for those who are thinking about getting this you can simply go over to the link in the description that will bring you right here where you can grab it and start working with this and with that said let's dive directly into blender and take a look at how this actually works simply open the how you get to work with this is super easy the very first things which you need to do is to go over to edit go over to preference go over to the add-on section and install the procedural sign with this installed expand the procedural sign go over to the preference section go to the select asset folder and select the unzipped procedural asset sign folder that comes with the add-on once you purchase it the next thing which you need to do is to click on the bugger menu save the preference and close the preference window and with that done once you tap N on the keyboard, you would notice that we have procedural sign right here. This covers a couple of sign types, which includes the big screen, the billboard, channel sign, LED, light sign, and neon. So depending on what you want to do, you can definitely select from any of these ones and start playing with them. Meanwhile, if you're thinking about using presets to get going, there's a bunch of presets that you can work with. So for example, with the categories that we have here, if you take a look at the big screen, you would see that we have a couple of nice ones. I'm just going to click on one of them and click on add preset and you can see that. And these have parameters. So I can select that, go over to the sign parameters and start making changes. Let's take a look at what this looks like when rendered in cycles. So with this here, we can now start making some beautiful changes. If you like this to have a left screen, we can select that and you can see that we have a left screen right there. You can also choose to enable some mounts. So we can click on the corridor section and you see we have that. And you can also see that we have some light bleeding happening right over there. In terms of materials, you can choose to play with the emission strength and all that. And if you like to change the material, you can have that selected, go over to the material section and make the changes right over here. You can definitely go ahead and play with so many other ones that exist here. So for example, if you like to play with a bigger screen like this, you can have that, do all the changes and tweaks that you want. And you can also select some other interesting screen types like this other one that we have here, which comes with animation and get going with it. And with all of this, you would tell that they have different shapes, sizes, which would cater to various type of big screen designs that you want to have around the environment or around the scene that you're working on. So in terms of parameters, you can also play with the parameters however you choose and get the most out of them. And the same thing can be said for every other light, which includes the billboard, which comes with a couple of lights that you can definitely go ahead and tweak. And in terms of tweaking the billboard themselves, you can choose to play with those and also tweak them to your heart content. The fact that this is fully procedural just makes you tweaking and working with these things super, super easy. You can go over to the corridor section, you can enable corridors, enable railings if you want, and you can just go to town with the entire thing. If you'd like to get some spotlights, right now we do have spotlights on the top. Let's go ahead and turn the overlays off. If you like to have spotlights on the base, you can also turn on spotlights right there. So you can turn some off, you can turn some on, depending on what you want for your scene. And in terms of textures, like we mentioned earlier, you can also proceed to change the textures. And if you're into neon lights, you can select the neon lights that exist here, add them to your scenes and have fun working with them. You can press the playback button to get this animated. And if you like to create your own neon lights, of course you can. So for example, let's say we would like to create our very own neon light. Because in this case, if you go ahead and have this one selected, you can tell that we don't necessarily have presets. So if you're thinking about creating yours, what you can do is relatively simple. Go over to where we have the procedural signs, select the neon light and you can choose to use text svgs or draw the neon lights yourself so if we like to use text we can click on add sign and this would automatically add a sign on our viewport we can go in there and change the name to blender for example and you would see that this automatically updates if there's any changes we would like to make we can definitely make those changes in this case let's say we would like to increase the number of lines we can increase the number of lines and you can see that becomes a lot we can also drop this down and also get some very cool stuff happening there if we like to increase the radius of the neon of course we can we can also choose to drop that down 
But one thing which I like to show you guys is if you zoom right in, you can tell that this also has details. Despite the fact that you have all of those life things going on, there's a lot of details that this comes with, which would make your life even easier. So instead of thinking about adding these details yourself, you do have these details and you can proceed to work with them. For animation, you can have some text animations, you can have some flickering animation, and you can also proceed to have some blown neon animation. Let's actually go ahead and turn some of these, switch over to cycles one more time, press the playback button, and you can see we have some animations going for us. We can drop this down, let's actually get that. And you would also notice that we have some very nice animations right here. If we bounce this all the way back, press the playback button one more time, you can also see these things for yourself. So depending on the kind of animation that you're trying to create, you can go to town with it. So this is when you're trying to use the neon light and the same technique exists for every other thing. For example, if you like to use the LED, you need to click on add sign and this automatically adds an LED sign for you and you can press the playback button to get this animated. And if you like to make some changes as well, you can have this selected. And in this case, I'm going to type in the word subscribe and we can make some changes to the color as well. Change how we want the animation to be. If we like this to blink several times, we can also choose to do that. So this is just totally up to you and you have so many, so many options to work with. So whether you're using SVGs, text, or even lines, you can definitely go to town with this and create some amazing lights and get them working for you. So this is it. For those who are thinking about getting the procedural sign, this is definitely the right time for you to get this as this is doing a 20% off. Additionally, there's also a few tools that are also doing some percentage off just in case you would like to get them. One of them is the render manager from the folks at Polygonic. This is currently doing a 25% off. And if you're thinking about getting the real-time materials for Blender from Ducky 3 d this is doing a 35% off. And this is by far more sales than you can get with the Blender Market sales. You can also get the UV Flow, which is currently in beta, made available by Orange Turbine for 25%. And the Lazy VFX 0.1, which is a VDB asset library from Cassie Sheep, is currently doing a 50% off. So go ahead and check this out. So this is it for those who are looking for any of this and probably you're thinking about getting the best out of them, then you might want to go ahead and take a look at the links in the description and check this out for yourself. A huge shout out to the folks at the Fuse Studio for making this possible. And of course, if you like this video or you learned something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.